to show you how to sharpen the lawnmower blade. Today I'm using sharpening a set of uh, double blades on the Honda lawnmower. Uh, one thing I do recommend that uh, anytime you are sharpening a blade, I want to make sure that you are highly trained and knowledgeable of equipment that you are using because it is very dangerous and you can get severely injured if you do not uh, operate the uh, properly the equipment properly. Um, the other thing you want to make sure you have gloves on, safety glasses, make sure you're away from anything flammable while you're sharpening them because as you are sharpening your blades they do send up sparks and uh, can, can cause fire if anything is flammable in its area. So with the Honda lawnmower blades you have two blades uh, you want to do each blade at each time. Uh, today I'm using uh, an RG, RBG uh, blade grinder and uh, what you want to do is sharpen the the angled uh, side of the blade and use your flat edge to uh, keep your guide. Uh, so what I'll do is here is I'll set it up. What you want to do is as the wheel comes through you want to make sure that the the blade is taking up the whole length of or cutting the whole face of the blade and we'll fine-tune that and uh, show you what the full face is here in just a moment what I'm doing there is doing a test cut and as you can see it's not doing the full face of the the blade and so what I need to do is actually lift our grinder up if you're using a hand grinder, what you'll have to do is just make sure you match the pitch so that it's shiny along the whole face. Now you can see it's hitting the full face. So what I'll do is go ahead and shine, sh sharpen up the blade. What you do want to make sure is if there are any divots in the blade from contacts that you want to try to grind those out. Uh, so as you're doing that you want to make even passes, uh, smooth even passes back and forth trying not to hold the blade in one position for, for any extended period for fear that you do not want to burn the blade and change the temper. What I'll do here is hold the blade flat against the uh, surface and just begin to press the blade in all the way to the to the inside of the cut all the way back out and inspecting my work as I go now the full face of my blade has been sharpened. You will notice there are some burrs that do do come as you're sharpening it. And uh, to remove those burrs on the back side, you simply run the back side of the blade against it to knock the, the burrs off. So you lightly just want to pass the blade to knock the burrs off. And now you've got a nice smooth loose blade. And you just do the same thing to, to each side that you're doing. Now that my blade is sharp on both sides, the next process is you want to balance the blade, uh, therefore you don't get any vibration while it's on the mower. For this we use our dynamic uh, magnetic blade balancer. This is our magnetic blade balancer and uh, simply it's got a tapered cone that fits into the center of the blade with a magnet that holds the blade in place. Uh, you simply place the blade on the, on the magnet then center it with the cone. Now that our blade is centered and on the uh, magnet, what you want to do is hold it horizontally and see which side tends to tip downward and that's the side you know you need to take some some of the uh, weight off of the blade. 
So we can see that this side of the blade is, is a little bit heavier than the other side. And one other way to just double check is turn it the other way and just make sure that that is the heavy side. And simply to balance it out, what we do is go back to the grinder, grind some off of the face again, and retest to make sure that the blade balances itself out. Whew! Finally got that blade balanced. Now it's time to move on to the second one. This is why sometimes it's better off to have someone else doing the blades. <laughs>